Drunk before the scene. <laughs> Did it and got away with it. Oh shit. <laughs> These guys are seriously doing things you can't do. Somebody, but I don't feel pain. <laughs> Maybe he's an army recruiter. Come on, kid. The military's fun. You get to oversee free and democratic elections in foreign lands. Look, Andrew W.K. is making an acceptance speech at the Darwin Awards. Fuck you! Can go over to this tree right here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fucker, god damn it. Oh. Oh, oh shit, are you alright? That's like the question I'm asked most in my life. Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> damn. Oh.
watching coverage you can count on. This is Action 2 News at 10. About 4 million children tune into pro wrestling on a typical Monday night, and many of them actually then go and try the stunts at home. Janet Stanglin shows us how many amateur wrestlers in Northeast Wisconsin are putting themselves at risk. That's not real. This all looks horrific. Luke Hadley and Jason Polachek admit their fun could become horrific if something goes wrong. Luke started trying stunts when he was 14 years old. He says he was too young. Now he's 21. In this Sports Illustrated column, it says that Luke has had 10 concussions, a broken arm, a broken tailbone, and five horrific falls. He says that's true, but he says that happened when he was younger, and he has never ended up in the emergency room. Young people tend to be fearless and uh, have uh, a little concern that uh, something bad will ever happen to them. But uh, I'm here to tell you from an emergency room physician standpoint, bad things do happen to young, healthy people. And uh, some of those bad things have permanent effects. <laughs> He says no matter how trained or experienced a person may be, the risks outweigh any rewards. Janet Stangland, Action 2 News. And Dr. Pankey reminds us even professional wrestlers get hurt. In 1999, Owen Hart died when he fell from a ceiling cable during a match.